Food Contaminant, Wikipedia Audio Food contamination refers to the presence in food of harmful chemicals and microorganisms which can cause consumer illness. This article addresses the chemical contamination of foods, as opposed to microbiological contamination, which can be found under foodborne illness. The impact of chemical contaminants on consumer health and well-being is often apparent only after many years of processing. Prolonged exposure at low levels. Chemical contaminants present in foods are often unaffected by thermal processing. Chemical contaminants can be classified according to the source of contamination and the mechanism by which they enter the food product. Agrochemicals are chemicals used in agricultural practices and animal husbandry with the intent to increase crops and reduce costs. Such agents include pesticides, plant growth regulators, veterinary drugs, and bovine somatotropin. Agrochemicals Environmental contaminants are chemicals that are present in the environment in which the food is grown, harvested, transported, stored, packaged, processed, and consumed. The physical contact of the food with its environment results in its contamination. Possible sources of contamination include There are many cases of banned pesticides or carcinogens found in foods. Air radionuclides, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, water, arsenic, mercury, soil, cadmium, nitrates, perchlorates, polychlorinated biphenyls, dioxins, and polybrominated diphenyl ethers are ubiquitous chemicals, packaging materials, antimony, tin, lead, perfluoroctanoic acid, semicarbazide, benzophenone, isopropyl theoxanthone, bisphenol A, processing slash cooking equipment, copper, or other metal chips, lubricants, cleaning, and sanitizing agents, naturally occurring toxins, mycotoxins, phytohemagglutinin, pyrrolizidine alkaloids, grayonotoxin, mushroom toxins, scumbrotoxin, sigwatera, shellfish toxins, tetrodotoxin, among many others. There is a heavy stigma attached to the presence of hair in food in most societies. There is a risk that it may induce choking and vomiting, and also that it may be contaminated by toxic substances. Views differ as to the level of risk it poses to the inadvertent consumer. In most countries, people working in the food industry are required to cover their hair because it will contaminate the food. When people are served food which contains hair in restaurants or cafes, it is usual for them to complain to the staff. There are a range of possible reasons for the objection to hair in food, ranging from cultural taboos to the simple fact that it is difficult to digest and unpleasant to eat. It may also be interpreted as a sign of more widespread problems with hygiene. The introduction of complete capture hairnets is believed to have resulted in a decrease in incidence of contamination of this type. Sometimes protein from human hair is used as a food ingredient in bread and other such similar products. Such use of human hair in food is forbidden in Islam. Historically, in Judaism, finding hair in food was a sign of bad luck. Processing contaminants are generated during the processing of foods. They are absent in the raw materials, and are formed by chemical reactions between natural and slash or added food constituents during processing. The presence of these contaminants in processed foods cannot be entirely avoided. Technological processes can be adjusted and slash or optimized, however, in order to reduce the levels of formation of processing contaminants. Examples are, nitrosamines, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, 
heterocyclicamines, histamine, acrylamide, furan, benzene, trans fat, 3-MCPD, semicarbazide, 4-hydroxynonal, and ethyl carbamate. There is also the possibility of metal chips from the processing equipment contaminating food. These can be identified using metal detection equipment. In many conveyor lines, the line will be stopped, or when weighing the product with a check weigher, the item can be rejected for being over or underweight or because small pieces of metal are detected within it. Greenpeace exposed in 2006 in China that 25% of surveyed supermarkets' agricultural products contained banned pesticides. Over 70% of tomatoes that tested were found to have the banned pesticide lindane, and almost 40% of the samples had a mix of three or more types of pesticides. Fruits were also tested in this investigation. Tangerines, strawberries, and Kyavung grapes samples were found contaminated by banned pesticides, including the highly toxic Methametaphos. These fruits can also be found in Hong Kong market. Greenpeace says there exists no comprehensive monitoring on fruit produce in the Hong Kong as of 2006, in India. Soft drinks were found contaminated with high levels of pesticides and insecticides, including lindane, DDT, malathion, and chlorpyrifos. News of formaldehyde, a carcinogen was found in Vietnamese national dish, pho, broke in 2007 Vietnam food scare. Vegetables and fruits were also found to have banned pesticides. Health agencies have known that Vietnamese soy sauce, the country's second most popular sauce after fish sauce, has been chock full of cancer agents since at least 2001, reported the Tan Nhien Daily. Why didn't anyone tell us? The carcinogen in Asian sauces is 3-MCPD and its metabolite 1,3-DCP which has been an ongoing problem before 2000 affecting multiple continents, 2005 Indonesia food scare, carcinogenic formaldehyde was added as a preservative to noodles, tofu, salted fish, and meatballs, 2008 Chinese milk scandal, melamine was added to milk and infant formula which caused 54,000 babies were sent to hospital and six babies died because of kidney stone. While many food contaminants have been known for decades, the formation and presence of certain chemicals in foods has been discovered relatively recently. These are the so-called emerging food contaminants like acrylamide, furan, benzene, perchlorate, perfluoroctanoic acid, 3-monochloropropane 1,3-diol, 4-hydroxynonal, and Acceptable daily intake levels and tolerable concentrations of contaminants in individual foods are determined on the basis of the no observed adverse effect level in animal experiments, by using a safety factor. The maximum concentrations of contaminants allowed by legislation are often well below toxicological tolerance levels because such levels can often be reasonably achieved by using good agricultural and manufacturing practices. The EFSA published a report in 2011 on scientific opinion regarding an update of the present knowledge on the occurrence and control of foodborne viruses. This year, an expert working group created by the European Committee for Standardization, is expected to publish a standard method for the detection of norovirus and hepatitis A virus in food. The Codex Committee on Food Hygiene is also working on a guideline which is now ready for final adoption. European Commission Regulation No 2073-2005 of November 15, 2005 indicates that foodstuffs should not contain microorganisms or their toxins or metabolites in quantities that present an unacceptable risk for human health, 
underlining that methods are required for foodborne virus detection. Environmental Contaminants Regulatory officials, in order to combat the dangers associated with foodborne viruses, are pursuing various possible measures. To maintain high quality of food and comply with health, safety and environmental regulatory standards it is best to rely on food contaminant testing through an independent third party such as laboratories, certification companies or similar. For manufacturers the testing for food contaminants can minimize the risk of non-compliance in relation to raw ingredients, semi-manufactured foods and final products. Also, food contaminant testing assures consumers' safety and quality of purchased food products and can prevent foodborne diseases, and chemical, microbiological, or physical food hazards. The establishment of ATIS for certain emerging food contaminants is currently an active area of research and regulatory debate. Pesticides and Carcinogens Hair in food Processing contaminants Emerging food contaminants Safety and regulation Food contaminant testing